Hi, I'm Michael Block, ASUC News Correspondent, and welcome to this week's segment of the ASUC News. This week, we'll be discussing the ASUC's new Budget Crisis Task Force, CalLink, and various Senate bills. The ACC's new Budget Crisis Task Force is currently collecting photos, videos, and stories from community members about how the budget cuts have affected their lives. The task force hopes to present this information to individuals with decision-making power who don't necessarily have the chance to hear of these effects on a daily basis. This semester, the ACC has launched a new student organization service called CalLink. CalLink is a financial management system which will help student groups organize their finances electronically, organize their events and contacts, and be able to network with the greater Cal community. The ASUC's Office of Student Affairs will be hosting a series of training sessions to help students use this new service, and more information is available at calink.berkeley.edu. This week, ASUC President Will Smelko vetoed an athletics bill that recommended that the administration stop using student fees to fund intercollegiate athletics. The bill, which was passed unanimously by Senate last week, recommended to Chancellor Bergeno that he take the necessary measures to make the department financially self-sustaining by next semester. Smelko stated that the bill does not promote the welfare and interests of student athletes, and that the bill, if implemented, would create both short and long-term adversity and hardships for current and future Cal students. Today we have a special guest here on ASUC News. Senator Parth Bott, member of the Standing Committee on Finance, is here to talk to us about the ASUC's current fiscal situation. Parth, it's good to have you here. It's good to be here, Michael. So what's currently happening with the ASUC's contingency fund? So last week, with the recommendation of our finance officer, Alan Nee, the Senate uh, replenished the contingency fund by $8,000 um, as a temporary relief so that we could uh, allocate money to student groups that were waiting uh, waiting on it because, as you know, the week before that we suspended all committee business until we understood when, uh, what the numbers were for our carry forward for this year. So what happens if you get less money than you expected? So I have full confidence in our Senate Finance Officer Alan Nee to, uh, to recommend a conservative amount. So if he recommended $8,000, then I have full confidence that we will not be going in the red. How has Senate worked past this lack of funding and issues confirming a finance officer? So this year, obviously, the Senate has, uh, has encountered many challenges, but I'm very, very proud to say that this year's Senate has been able to work past party lines, and we've been able to collaborate and come to a consensus so that we could move forward and pass these issues so that we can uh, do what, what we were elected to do, which is to help our student groups. Well, thank you for taking your time to come and speak with us today. Thank you, Michael, and thank you, CalTV. It was a pleasure. That's it for now on ASUC News. I'm Michael Block. Thanks for watching.